All right, I, I didn't want to do a full-on uh, F-whistle comparison because I've already done a, a bunch of those. Um, but I, I, I wanted to show the Dante uh, low F. And um, I noticed in the A and, and possibly the G that there's some similarities to Goldie's. Maybe they're like a really soft-blowing sort of Goldie. So I, wanted, I have a medium-blowing Goldie and a Reveal which are both uh, somewhat similar in design and play characteristics. And my Reveal in particular is is uh, a, like a very soft-blowing Goldie, but it's always had a very um, complex sound that I've always really liked. Um, so I, I wanted to do... And I, I've, got a, I've got a Rayburn, just because uh, Rayburn has a very strong, earthy tone. Uh, but here's the, here's the Dante. <laughs> So, again, you can't lean into the, the, the bell note very much. Uh, but it's, it's stable. And, uh, it, it's, again, they're lightly playing whistles. So here's the, uh, here's the Goldie. Oh, I'm trying to use a, <laughs> a rice heating pad, and it's very moist. Again, the, this is a medium blower Goldie. I can really lean into it. So, the Goldie strikes me as a little bit uh, thicker, um, a little bit louder, a little bit punchier. Uh, 
heavier tone on the on the Goldie. Um, so so again, maybe opening up the tone. If I had a uh, an easy blowing F, there might be a little bit more similarity uh, to them. But uh, it's it's. I said if the, the again the the. It's a very light playing F. The Dante music F is a very light playing instrument. Here's the reveal. And I've always, again, I've, I've liked this one. It doesn't have as much back pressure as a Goldie. Again, uh, more like a, a very, very soft blowing Goldie. But it's got a fullness to it. But again, I think that you start to see in the in the in the Dante music this kind of full tone, and again, a very rich tone on the. So, the Raviol is one of my favorite uh, F whistles, just because the tone is so amazing, but it's also a very responsive whistle. The only issue I ever have with it is <laughs> if it clogs, uh, it's, it doesn't sound anywhere near as good, but when it's not clogging, it's, it's phenomenal. So again, I've noticed um, this on the low F and the low D Dante is they are quieter. Uh, they're on the quieter end of the spectrum. So on the louder end of the spectrum, uh, here's the the Rayburn brass. Again, it's got this very thick, rich, earthy tone.
this one um, almost has. It might almost have as much back pressure as the Goldie. Uh, it's it's it takes some force to get it to to play, and it can take a lot of force. It's got a really strong uh, bell note, and when I'm getting up here. It does take some force to keep it up there, but again, it's got this really nice It's got like a very just big thick tone. Um, so yeah, again, very different from from <laughs> the Dante.
So I like it. Um, it's it, It's got that, I said, it's got an airiness to it, uh, which I do like a little bit of breathiness in, in the whistles. Sometimes I feel like uh, the Goldie can be a little bit too uh, nasally, a little bit too compressed uh, in the tone, and so I like the openness. It's got a, like I said, a lightness to it that's that's nice. It's a very pleasant tone, uh, and and responsive uh, and everything. It's just not, again, not the loudest uh, whistle out there. Um, not the most powerful one, but but that's not always you know what you need. So anyway, I hope that's uh, informative.